I feel like everyone has a story to tell, but not everyone tells their story. And we don't always ask. You know, it's like everyone you ever come across has been through something. Behind that smile, behind that mask that we all put on to defend ourselves is a library of emotions, memories, regrets, trauma. A little boy walks downstairs and watches. And next you know, he sees his dad picks up a glass table, slams it on his mom's head. And all the little boy remembers is a pool of blood. And he assumes his mom is dead. And the biggest visual for this little boy is the dad walks upstairs, doesn't call the ambulance, does not call the hospital, and leaves her there. And this little boy does not cry. He is shell-shocked from the situation. And so this boy goes upstairs, frightened. He just seen his big brother knocked out. He seen his mom near death at the hands of this man that was supposed to love him. The next thing I remember, I was in the back of a cop car, screaming in pain and trying to figure out what had happened. Um, I tried to write this part of the story a lot of times, but there's a lot of the story that I don't remember. But what I do remember is that when I came to, <clears throat> all I could think about was what had happened to me. Um, from there, I was rushed to the hospital. Um, I had suffered a compound fracture in my arm. Um, it was broken into three piece pieces, and I had to go into emergency surgery, um, where they put a plate and seven screws in my arm to effectively rebuild it. Um, after surgery, I was taken to jail, and from that charge, about a year and a half later, I went through a four-day trial <clears throat> defending myself for something I hadn't done. I was pretty terrified because I hadn't even had a parking ticket in my life or a seating ticket, um, and I was facing a charge that had a five-year prison sentence attached to it. We got all these devices, you know? I know people with a laptop, iPad, two cell phones on every social media site, and yet we're still disconnected. We try so hard to be something we're not for people we don't even know. Meanwhile, silently suffering. One spring day in 2013, directly following my first semester at ACC, I was violently thrown to the ground and everything changed again. I remember laying there uh, as a cloudy day and my dad was, I was talking to my dad on the side of the track Tears rolling down my face. I don't want to be paralyzed. The EMT almost ran into someone. Uh, she was bawling her eyes out. And yet again, there was there was adversity. But I think this time I was I was a little more conditioned for it. Um, the next few months were an absolute blur, as I spent day and night rehabbing and coming to grips with my new situation as a paraplegic. Before I was born, my dad, he was, he was very aggressive. He, uh, he beat my eye when she was pregnant. He had an alcohol problem. The list goes on and on. Um, and uh, I had two sisters as well. When I was 10 months old, uh, my mom had a restraining order on my dad. And he uh, broke into her apartment. And uh, there were five bullets in the chamber. And there were five of us there between my parents and me and my two sisters. And uh, he put a bullet in my mom's head and then he killed himself. Um, and I don't know what was supposed to happen that night. You know, I'm still here, but my first tattoo I ever got was for my mom. Because you know, I don't know what was supposed to happen. And to this day, she's my guardian angel. I'm here for a reason. If I could tell the young me one thing. I tell that nigga chase a dream. Everything ain't what it seems in his lifetime. You gon' feel like the world is on your shoulders Sleep under covers, but your heart is getting colder Every night, every type, every wrong, every right They gon' question everything you say So don't you give up on yourself Don't you give up on yourself They gon' love it when you fail Yeah, they gon' love it when you fail Don't 
se o que eu vou pôr em um céu Não se o que eu vou pôr em um céu Nem com louve eu vou em um céu Nem com louve eu vou em um céu I wonder what the world would look like if we opened up more and took time to listen more, to ask people, how are you doing? And actually give a fuck about the answer. Sharing the stories about what shaped your life doesn't make you weak, it makes you human. Everyone has a story to tell. What's yours? <laughs>